okay let's talk about bob bob is a 1999 ford e350 with a v10 built by a goshen coach started out its life as a church bus uh, as a church in decatur that owned it since it was new and uh about well a band out of elberton bought it Let's see my solar panels a band out of elberton bought it and they used it to travel for uh, i guess a little over six months and uh, it didn't work out so i bought him it's kind of a intrigued by everybody building these stealth vehicles i, I never really felt a huge need for stealth uh, doing what i do but uh I thought I'd try to see what I could build. Uh, the paint's not perfect, the body's not perfect, but it's average for most of your uh, shuttle buses that you see on the road. Um, the biggest thing on the outside that is not stealth, had this custom hitch made. <clears throat> you notice there's three uh, Reese hitch holes to attach to. And the reason I did that was I planned on uh, having a custom motorcycle plate hauler carrier put on and the bike uh weighed about 500 pounds so i wanted to make sure it was something that would be uh stable uh looking back at it now uh, it's probably something i'm not going to do so i may end up just leaving the one in the center girls say hello got new tires on it new simulators the v10 had 168,000 on it when i got it um I've gone through all new belts, hoses, plugs, wires, coil packs. Ow, those are expensive. Um, Jamie, my mechanic, uh, well over well over $1,000 in parts. The air conditioning unit went out on it, and uh, like I said in a previous video, that was $1,600. All right, let's start. Hey, girls, what are we doing today? May, may you need a haircut. You can't see. You can't see, love. Next week, you're going to get a haircut. The cabinets here, as I walk in, they're painted black. I had them uh, the plywood color and white. And you just drive by, and people could look in. They could see the cabinets pretty obvious. So I just painted a flat black. This RV is not finished. One reason I kind of hesitated to even show it to you guys really close. But let's just go ahead and uh, 3,000 watt Xantrax converter. It was like $400. But I never use it because it's a battery hog, even when you're not using it. It's a fantastic uh, inverter, but it's power hungry. I have a little Shoemaker $50 one from Walmart. It's either 400 or 500 watts. This is where I hang my clothes. This is how cool, Bob. This is a uh, Soleus. Can't read it. Air conditioner. I think it's either 8,000 or 10,000 BTU. Vents through the floor, have a hole in the floor cut, and uh, my Honda EU2000 runs it really well. Up here is storage. Here is uh, my food pantry. I've got just a cheap Walmart fridge here. I, I use the cooler most of the time. I've got it, but I don't use it. Pick this off of eBay. Little stove here where I keep some of my fruit sometimes. Uh, bag of peanuts of course uh, paid like $150 for it on eBay it had a scratch on it. it took me forever to find the scratch CO2 detector my sink still not plumbed in my little buddy heater uh, looks a little weird because this filters on because when it's bad weather I carry the 20 pound cylinder with me when it's just occasional a little bit cold I just carry the one pound cylinder I don't like carrying the 20 pound uh, as a safety thing I've got this let down as the bed it's just a couple inches shy of being a queen one way or the other. I think it's 81 inches across, 55 across, and 81 long. I've got water storage under here. I can carry like uh, 12 five-gallon containers. Up under this side here is my um, water pump and uh, propane storage. I can also carry water there. I've got tools in the back corner. I keep... Uh, these uh, blackout curtains just pinned up. Does a real nice job. 
those are LEDs. I can control these other lights right here by switching the front. I had these uh, cushions custom made. Of course, when the bed is up, uh, have seating for, gosh, six people back here, easy. Gotta love a fantastic fan. If you are van dwelling or you have an RV and you do not have one, get one. It makes life so much more bearable. I only have to run the uh, air conditioner in the hottest of days. When I, uh, the way this is built, I kind of went by with what windows placement. It kind of helped figure, helped me figure how it was going to, everything was going to be built. Um, so I kind of went with what was. Um, my blackout curtain up here, I just push it up here and it stays fine. Uh, at night, I push it down. Got a little 12 volt light here. DC plugs. I don't know why I'm pointing. Excuse my finger. Yeah, I guess you guys can see. I got uh, another 12 volt plug there. One on the other side of this air conditioner. Here's the kicker. This is a uh, twin size mattress. And uh, I use it as a bench, but I use it as a lounge. I'm on this more than I am the queen size bed. But let me show you something kind of unique. Some people, you may not like it. Some you may, but here it is. There's my toilet. That's how I flush the toilet. Got a handle right there. What are you doing? What are you doing? Pull it right there. Storage. And here's a... I've got storage like this under all my cabinets. I've got eight months of uh, freeze-dried food right there. I've got the ability to purify as much water as I want. I've got three different water purification systems. Nothing real fancy, but everything works. We've got my other grill, water, clothes, you name it. I got it in there. I mean, its name can't be Bug Out Bob if it can't bug out in it, right? All these little windows right here open up. These windows were already pretty dark, but I've got a buddy of mine that owns a window tinting business in Athens. Uh, Augustus Solar, Glenn is his name. And uh, these windows were already fairly dark, but uh, I got him to uh, tint them for me. I uh, did not tint the front windows because what I wanted when I parked, I have a curtain that I run from here to here that's black it's a flat black and when you're walking by at night you look straight through you don't realize that you can't see any light and you're just not expecting this to be a camper in here so whenever I camp at Walmart or whatever that little curtain goes up I pin it with some pins and um, boom nobody knows I'm there isn't that right oh what a mess golly Oh, you're getting a haircut soon. What else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah, the solar system. Um, it's got two 100 watt solar panels on here. And I've got a, a morning side. Uh, this is a, a remote meter. But I've also got a controller that charges two different battery banks. And I'll show you those in a minute. I have two T105s on the custom mount on the uh, frame. This button here. I can also charge my batteries off the alternator when need be. Thank you, Jamie. That was very handy. Um, the other batteries, I had those up under this bed. They were AGMs. And uh, I now have them in the camper van. So right now, I've only got one battery bank. And the way the controller splits the power, you can adjust it either way. But I have 90% going to the Trojans on the frame. 10% going to uh, the one under the bed, which right now is not hooked up. Shoe baby. Right here is where I had my TV hooked up. I've been switching it back and forth from the camper van to this one. I took the camper van to the shop and left the thing in it, and I have missed it sorely. Well, let's see here if we can get to this battery bank. I think my video is running a little bit long here. I'm having trouble. It's taking so long for everything to load on these videos. Here are the two T105s. And uh, this uh, rack was actually under Eric's van, uh, Nomadic Fanatics, the black one. Uh, I took it off of there and I had it cut. I thought I was going to get three batteries in here, which gave me, I put in three 12 volts. 
but I was just a little bit too shy on size. So uh, I ended up putting the two T105s, and I've been real happy with them. But I still need to get some AGMs to put them back up under the bed. What else, what else, what else? This, um, this V10 is my first V10. And uh, I took it down to Savannah on a trip, and I babied it. I mean, I babied it. Drove it easy, drove it 55 miles an hour on the interstate, petted it, petted it. No trailer, no towing. Uh, fairly good load on the inside. I mean, it doesn't have 15 people in there, but my stuff. And uh, I got 10.5 miles per gallon. Oh, I also have a Reese hitch here in the front. I have a, like, uh, a storage thing I put on there. I carry firewood and whatnot. You may be looking at the 96 Rock Tag. Atlanta's 96 Rock's been out of uh, commission, gosh, 10 years now. But it's, uh, in high school, we all we ran our tags this way, and some habits are hard to break. Still says 96. What else, what else? It's a good truck. I like, I like Bob. In fact, when I bought the camper van, um, I mean, Bob is 90% done. Hey, there I am. Uh, Bob is 90% done. I still have a few things to hook up, a few things to do. But I was just going to turn the camper van. I was going to fix it up and sell it. That's the one I found it was in as good a shape as it was, condition as it was. So now I'm kind of torn. Which one, uh, if I'm going to keep them both or just keep, I know I'm going to keep the camper van for sure. But I really like this truck and it's good that I have, I have a backup. This pulls my trailer excellent. And towing, I'm getting eight eight and a half and I don't mind telling you what I, I, I've got in it um, I gave three thousand dollars for Bob which I thought was a steal uh, sorry for the win uh, add another thousand dollars for tires another I'm gonna say I thought a thousand maybe fifteen hundred in parts did I just say the air conditioning was sixteen hundred I think it did you start adding everything up together I was figuring it up the other day, and uh, gosh, I'm well over $8,000 in it. But that's okay. I know what I've got. I know what it'll do. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed my little video here, Bob. And I'm sorry I've taken so long to get to it. Honestly, uh, <laughs> I lost the key to the back door, and I kept thinking I would find it. So I could open up the back door and give you a, a through shot of it. But that didn't happen. And I'm still looking for my doggone key. All right. You guys ready to tell YouTube bye? Bye-bye. Okay. We'll talk to you again soon. You guys take care.